Welcome to another math lesson. This is Mr. Pot. Today we're going to be talking about the areas of regular polygons. We're going to take a look at a diagram here first. You can circumscribe a circle about any regular polygon. That's that pink circle around this hexagon. The center of the regular polygon is the center of the circumscribed circle. So when I refer to the center of the polygon, it's the point in the middle, equidistant from the vertex. The radius is the center from the the distance from the center to a vertex. So in a hexagon, we have six radii because there's six vertex. The apothem is the perpendicular distance from the center to a side. And that would be represented right here by this pink line. It's perpendicular. It's also the angle bisector. It will be very useful to understand that fact that it's an angle bisector. In example one, we're given a portion of a regular hexagon and has an apothem and a radii drawn. Find the measure of each numbered angle. Well, this problem starts off with the fact that we're working with a regular hexagon. That means these interior angles, or the measure of angle 1, is going to be equal to 360 degrees divided by 6 because there's 6 interior angles angles on a hexagon and that'll give us 60 degrees so the measure of angle one is 60 degrees now the measure of angle two it is half of the measure of angle one because we're given the apothem and that's the angle bisector of this isosceles triangle so as you measure of angle two is 60 degrees divided by two which is equal to 30 degrees. And we find the measure of angle 3 with the triangle angle sum theorem. We know the measure of angle 2 is 30 degrees, and the right angle is 90 degrees. We add those together and subtract from 180 to get the measure of angle 3. So the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 minus the sum of 30 degrees and 90 degrees which gives 180 degrees minus 120 which gives 60 degrees so the measure of angle 3 is 60 degrees so here's our three answers the measure of angle 1 angle 2 and angle 3 the area of a regular polygon the area of a regular polygon is half the product of the apothem and the perimeter. A is equal to one half the apothem times the perimeter. Now the perimeter can be found if you know the length of a side of the polygon and how many sides it does have. We'll see that in the examples. Find the area of a regular polygon with a 12 inch with 12 inch 20 12 inch sides and 37 and 9 tenths inch apothem. So first, uh, we're going to put down the formula for the area of a regular polygon. One half times A, P, where A is the apothem and P is the perimeter of the polygon. So first we need to find the perimeter. And the perimeter is given by 20 times 12 inches. Because there's 20 sides and each side is... 20 inches and that'll give 240 inches. Now to find the actual area we're going to substitute in for A and P the apothem and the perimeter. The apothem is 37 inches squared 37.9 inches squared not inches squared but just inches times the perimeter which was 240 inches and you can run that into your calculator if you want. That'll make it easier. 0.5 times 37.9 times 240 equals 4,548. And that would be square inches. In 
example 3T, a library is in the shape of a regular octagon. Each side is 18 feet. The radius of the octagon is 23.5 feet. Find the area of the library to the nearest 10 square foot. We have a couple pieces of information we should put on a diagram. If you don't have an octagon drawn, you're going to want to do your best to draw an octagon and draw in a radius. And we can now go ahead and label this stuff. The side is 18 feet. So any side you can label as 18 feet. And the radius is 23.5. Now the relationship you may not see right now is this one right here. That you have in isosceles triangle and in that isosceles triangle you can put in an apothem and in this example it's not so much worrying about the angles but since this is 18 feet the length of the side the length of the side of the triangle is nine feet so we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the apothem and we're going to call that a so the apothem is a so we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of A. A squared plus B squared would be 9 in this case. So 9 squared equal to the length of C squared, 23.5 squared. We'll put the units in later. It's going to end up being feet. So we'll just put the units in later. Now, doing this on your calculator, you can do 23.5 squared, uh, subtract 9 squared. And if you wanted to do that by showing the math, that's a pretty simple process. A squared plus 81 is equal to 23.5 squared, which is 552.25. We would subtract 81 from both sides. You get 700 or four hundred seventy one point two five and take the square root of each side at this point to get a having a length of twenty one point seven and that would be twenty one point seven feet so the apothem is 21.7. So we can apply the area formula now for a regular polygon. The area is equal to one half the length of the apothem, which is 21.7, times the perimeter, which in this case is going to be 8 because we have an octagon times the length of each side, which is 18 feet. And I'm going to put my feet in here since I put them in over there. And running that through the calculator, we're going to get approximately 1,562.4. And since it tells us to round to the nearest 10 square foot, we would round that to 1,560 square feet or feet squared. This has been Mr. Polarski working with the areas of regular polygons. A lot of the time it's going to be using different properties of right triangles to find lengths of the apothem.